Welcome back to Nuka World. We've got our two little treasure hunt quests to uh, turn in. So that's what we're gonna do right here. Hi there! If you have any questions about Nuka World, I'd be delighted to answer them. And remember, if you collect a full set of park medallions, I'll give you a special reward. Tell me more about these park medallions. I'd be delighted to. Spread throughout the park are several dispensing machines. Sure. Once you've got a... I've got a full set of park medallions. So you do. Why, that's just nougatastic. Here's your special reward. What else would you like to know? No questions for now. In that case, thanks for... Error. <laughs> System malfunction. You're still here? Get the hell out of my face, you miserable dung sniffing dirt scratcher! System restored. Have a great day! Should hack that thing and fix it. And now we've got our uh, hidden Cappy quest to turn in. I thought about trying my hand at the gauntlet just to see if I could do it. <laughs> Waste of time now. We need to make this a distinctive save, so I'll remember not to override it since the next quest in the main story is just totally against character. And I don't want to do it really, but I want to see the story. I don't want these raiders anywhere near the Commonwealth. I wish there was just an option to tell them, uh, you have your little amusement park oh, now. Up. You stay away from the Commonwealth. You're going to raid. DC is ripe for it. Try the, try the Pentagon. Be a good place for you guys to hit. Yeah, this DLC, it's a. I think it fits best if you do it if you do it early in the story. Careful out there! The park's a pretty dangerous place. I found all of the hidden cappies. Each one had a letter. Great! Let me take a look at these letters. Well, anyone who stared at Nuka Cola merchandise as long as I have would get this one pretty fast. The letters definitely spell refreshing. It's simpler than I was expecting. Well, damn. I was sure the letter spelled fresh ginger. That stuff is great in hot tea with honey, lemon, little brandy, a lot of brandy. Nice try, but you'd be one G short. So let's just assume it's refreshing. This door should lead to Brad Burton's office, but it's locked up tight. The keypad is the only way to open it. I guess we just need to key in the 10 numbers that correspond to the word refreshing. You did all the work looking for the hidden copies, so you should be the one who gets to enter the code. That's it! The door's unlocked! Let's go inside! You can see what Project Cobalt is here what I suspect. Let's search carefully. I'm willing to bet this place has a few secrets, and they'll probably be well hidden. One way or another, no use for us for all this time. His office kind of a dive. It's been locked for 200 years. Why is it in such disarray? Formula 
would be hidden somewhere. No way Bradbird would leave it out in the open. Wow! This... Quiet there for a moment. Look, Brad Burton, I didn't fly down from DC to get jerked around. You either sign off on Project Cobalt or I can walk right out that door. This isn't like deciding what color bottle to pick for our next flavor, General. You're asking me to take my laboratories and my beverage years and basically turn them over to your team. I need assurances that my people and my facilities are going to be treated with the respect that they deserve. You and I both know that's a load of horse shit. Stop treating me like one of your soft drink competitors. I'm here representing the US military. I already told you you'd be well compensated. Now cut the crap and tell me what you're really after. Fine. I want in on the military's LeapX program. What? How the hell did you know about that? Let's just say you're not the only one in this room that can throw his weight around in Washington, General. I've been following the program ever since its inception. And I have to say that I'm impressed. The ability to keep a human in a state of veritable immortality using a machine? Now that's something that I didn't expect from the military. Look, you want me to agree to this proposal? Then get me on the Leap X list, and I'll sign whatever you want. I always knew you were a greedy son of a bitch, John. But the last thing I expected to hear is that you were afraid of death. If you know so much about Lee Bex, then you know it's in its infancy, and there are a lot of kinks to be worked out. It isn't as easy as throwing a switch and suddenly you can live forever. Stop trying to talk me out of it. We both know the enemy is developing chemical and biological weapons, and that my beverageers are the top organic chemists in the world. Our countries are in a race where no one comes in second, General. So you need to ask yourself, can you really afford to stand here and say no? You had this all figured out before I even arrived, didn't you? Okay, fine. You want in on the Leapex program, you've got yourself a deal. You know, maybe immortality is what's best for you, Brad Burton. It'd be a goddamn shame to let that ego go to waste. So is he alive here, like House? And his voice. It's, uh... Joshua Graham. Harbinger. The Didact. Keith Sibarja. guy's awesome. Though he does also voice every ghoul in this game. Except Hancock. In regards to Nuka-Cola clear production, I think it's obvious that we need to take a step back and examine the facts. Project Cobalt dropped Quantum in our laps, so I think it's best we leverage its potential popularity before someone else beats us to market. Additionally, installing the equipment to produce both flavors would cost us a pretty penny, and I'd rather use the funds to promote Quantum. We also have our lemon lime flavor debuting soon, and need to work out how to market two clear colored flavors simultaneously. With all these factors taken into account, I have no choice but to hold off Nuka-Cola clear production for at least the next two fiscal years. Well damn, those Chinese cost us Nuka-Cola Nuka clear.
here we know where the switch is now. It's probably by that big Nuka-Cola bottle. This lore in the terminals and the steels here at Sandy. They're way better than the ones in uh, Far Harbor. Search carefully. What we're looking for might not be easy to find. His greatest creation. Just look at this place. What else is switch though? There we go. Look at that! Mr. Brad Burton, you were one sneaky devil. Get in. Got a vault. Wow. It was surprising to find that vault in uh, Far Harbor, but now we got another vault. I don't think this one's a named one, though, precisely. Come on, can I interact with it? Is 
that just his head down there? Well, he, I don't know if he's worse off than Mr. House or... Can you imagine how boring that would be? 200 years? Wait. No. It can't be. That's John Caleb Bradburton! Or at least it's his head. Wow! Who... Who are you? I haven't seen a real human face in so long. I had given up all hope. Oh my god! It's alive! He's alive! My name's Sierra, sir. I'm your biggest admirer. I love Nuka-Cola more than anything! This is such an honor. You there, with the pit boy What are you doing here? We used the contest code to get in? What the hell happened to you? I made a devil's bargain, though I didn't know it at the time. This was General Braxton's plan all along. Damn the man. He called it Project Cobalt. In exchange for my weapon design, he would give me access to life-extending technology. I'm such a fool for taking him at his word. He never told me that this would be the price. I guess it's a price he wasn't willing to pay, but House said... It's a price he's completely willing to pay. Who was General Braxton? He was one of the top men in the Army Research Laboratory's Weapons and Materials Division. He'd taken a keen interest in my quantum mechanics research and offered me a trade. In exchange for my assistance on a top secret weapons project, he gave me access to an experimental process that would artificially extend my life. Like a fool, I leapt before I looked. I've certainly paid the price for my short-sightedness. A... Uh, a weapon? I don't believe it. Why would the genius who brought so much joy to the world want to make something destructive? Genius is restless, madam. It must expand, seek new challenges, and explore new frontiers. So yes. A weapon. It was going to be a quantum enhanced variant of the standard portable tactical warhead. In fact, the prototypes are stored in this very chamber. You can have them on one condition. I want you to shut off the power to this machine that's keeping me alive. I want to die. What? No! Are you really sure you want to die? I've had plenty of time to think about it. You can't kill him. He's a great man. He invented Nuka-Cola, the best thing in the world. Lady, you don't know what a torment it is. Being trapped here alone and staring at the same wall decade after decade. Now please shut up while I talk to your more rational friend here. I realize that what I'm asking isn't easy, but there's something in it for you. When the power is cut, the door to the prototype storage room will open automatically. Take anything you want. I don't care anymore. Just please, set me free at last. I can't bear this loneliness any longer. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Mr. Bradburton wants to die because he's lonely, right? Well, maybe I could stay with him, you know? Keep him company, give him someone to talk to. He's like a hero to me. You know what? I see this decision, actually, as an institute director. We're talking one of the, you know, five, ten greatest minds of the 21st century. Running out of steam? You should drink a Nuka Cola. That always gets me going. I think we could uh find a position for him. 
maybe uh, maybe put his head on a synth or something. So I think we're gonna we're gonna let him live for that very reason. Some people say you've got a point, but I want compensation for the prototype ammo I won't be getting. Well, uh, I do have one thing that might interest you. I've got a limited edition Nuka Cola jumpsuit. It's really stylish, and not many were made. It's one of my most treasured possessions, but. Well. I'm willing to let you have it. A Nuka Cola jumpsuit? Ha! That's a paltry prize compared to what I'm offering. The choice is yours. But I beg you to honor my wishes. There is no one else who can help me. Sorry for him. I couldn't stand being a frozen head. How could I drink Nuka Cola? Yep. The Institute has uh, has a place for you, my friend. Maybe together with uh, imagine being House on the West Coast. Uh, we'll meet up in the middle someday. Sierra, I'm almost afraid to ask, but what's your decision? What about the secret Nuka Cola formula you think is locked up in that vault? That was before we found John Caleb Bradburton in the flesh. Well, mostly. Who knows? Maybe he'll tell me the Nuka Cola formula himself, along with all kinds of other things. <laughs> that would be incredible. Please. Tell me that you'll let him live. And I'll have some Institute scientists down here to uh, rescue him from her inane prattle. That's going to get old pretty quick. I'll accept your offer. I won't shut the power off. Thank you, thank you, thank you! You're doing the right thing! After all, this is a great man we're talking about. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a living legend to talk to. Good luck running Nuka World! I commend your diligence. It can't have been easy to find your way in here. I won't deny that it's nice to have some company again. You can still shut off the power, and, uh, but she'll turn hostile.
thought it was going to be their sprite. Well, that was actually worth the hassle of going through all the hoops and whatnot to uh, I'm find those. See what else I can find in this place to add to my collection. She's gonna move her uh, Nuka Museum down here, huh? Now, how do you get that in here? Probably had to take it all apart and assemble it, reassemble it, man. Yeah. 